Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a bad boy member. And remember, guys, if you are a bad boy member, you can send me emails whenever you want for free and we will get this popping. All right. So uh, this one says, uh, could you do a video about congruence test? I'm often told that I come across as very confident and the woman tests me on it. I am not very good at passing these tests, possibly because when people try to fuck with me, I put them in their place. I'll give you uh, two examples of girls I met in bars. So I go up to the girl and I would say, so what do you do? And the girls would say, we are secret agents. Then I would say, and what do you do when you're not a secret agent? And then the girls will say, that's a secret. Then another time I went up to a girl and I said, so what do you do? And she said, I'm a drug dealer. And then I said, so what do you do when you're not dealing drugs? And then the girl said, I'm an assassin. In the first case, I definitely know it was a lie because after that, I sent a friend of mine who is not so confident to talk to them and they told him everything straight away. I know that different girls test you on different things, your frame, neediness, persistence, dominance, but what, but, but it would be great if you could clarify this. All right. So, um, basically this man, you know, it, it sort of annoys me personally when I am interacting with women and they, you know, they do goofy shit like this. Now, I understand, like, in certain situations, you're going to, you know, interact with girls and they're going to play around and, you know, be all tongue in cheek with shit. And it's cool in a certain sense, depending on the tone. And, you know, you guys are just playing around saying some dumb shit or whatever. Right. Because, you know, if you tell me I'm a drug dealer, and I'm an agent, I do all this other crazy stupidness. Right. But the thing is. Is that a lot of times, you know, chicks will say certain goofy shit and say dumb stuff just to get a reaction out of you. Um, they'll sometimes even, you know, be unnecessarily like have a, like an attitude sort of when you're trying to talk to them or they'll be standoffish or this and this and that or whatever. They'll try to test you in certain different ways. But the thing is, you know. When a chick is testing you or you can tell she's being on some like other type of shit, right? Um, basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that you don't indulge in the shit she's doing. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're not, uh, reacting to what she's saying and basically ignore what she's saying and change the subject. You understand what I'm saying? I actually talked about this, um, in the audio program, um, how to get women to choose you, which is on the bad boy membership. So, you know, make sure that all you guys go on the bad boy membership and make sure you listen to that one over and over again. So basically what I was saying is, is that you sort of ignore what she's saying and change the subject. So a way to do this is let's say, let's, let's use what you were saying in here where she was, uh, you know, she was like, oh, so, you know, you're like, so what do you do? And then she's like, oh, we're, we're secret agents or whatever. Right. So what you were doing is that you were indulging sort of like in that that conversation because you asked her, oh, what do you do when you're not a secret agent or whatever? And which is fine, but you don't necessarily need to indulge in that. You can just sort of ignore that and then change the subject. And I say that the the, the easiest way to do that and to transition into that is to say the word anyway. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what how it will go. So you so you go to the girl. So what do you do? Uh, what do you do? And she's like, Oh, we're we're secret agents. And you're like, Okay. Anyway, so um, where are you guys from? You understand? Like you're you're not even you're not even indulging in that thing. You're ch you're changing the subject. You understand? The you know you say to the other girl. So what are you doing? She's like, I'm a drug dealer. And you're like. Anyway, so um, what are you what are you doing after this? You understand? Like you're not you're not responding or reacting to that. You're con you're changing the subject. You're you are actually controlling the conversation. You understand? So the thing is, you know, you can sort of like banter back and forth if you want to be on some fun, goofy shit here and there. But a lot of times when chicks try to like you know, uh, bring up nonsense or go on little tangents or do a little like attention whore type of tactics. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You want to be able to make sure that you're not sort of like going in that direction or, you know, following that, uh, you know, uh, like situation, you understand whenever you're interacting on talking with a woman, you always have to remember that you are the one that should be controlling the conversation.
You understand what I'm saying? And what I mean by controlling the conversation, I don't mean like, oh, you know, you're telling her what to say, and what to do. What I mean is, is that you're navigating where the conversation is going. So by her saying something and you're just like, anyway, so blah, 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 this and this and that you're taking the conversation somewhere else. You're not going and following where she's taking the conversation. You understand what I'm saying? And which is something you should be doing period anyway, because when you're dealing with these girls and you're trying to make something happen, you should already have in your mind what you're trying to do. Like, let's say you're at a club or whatever. You're at a bar. You're trying to pull a chick back to your spot. You understand? So all the conversations and things that you're having should be in the direction of you creating the situation for you and her to go back to your place. Now, if she is still being on some goofy shit and she's still like, you know, being on some attention horse shit trying to test you, you understand? Then you just keep it moving to the next girl. But what I'm saying is, is that you do not want to indulge in, you know, a woman basically trying to sit there and, and, and test you and be on some goofy shit. And then you sort of following that lead you feel me so that's pretty much it um guys uh make sure you click the link below and join the bad boy membership so that you can get all of the you know tips and steps to really step up your game when you're dealing with these chicks all right so that's pretty much it i'm out of here remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone click the link below or go to mrlocario.com to get tickets for the bad boy seminar which is on march 25th 2017 space is limited so get your tickets today now before you turn off this video i want you to do three quick things one i want you to click the link below to send me a question if you have a question on dating and relationships i'll make a video about it two i want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program undeniable game which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women and three i want you to click the link under that one to go to bad boy membership where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. Dot com.